one attempt. The real long is 51. Let's watch the operation, the snap and the hold. From the left hash. From 60 yards out, the wow. kick is good. So be a 61-yard field goal try. Tony talked about that win. Big win that is back right now. And we know that Zerline has more than enough luck to get it there. There it comes off his foot, and it is good! 61 yards by Zerline. How about that? This might have made it from 71. Officially, they're going to call it 62. All you got to do is watch and listen. <laughs> Unbelievable! And on the last play of the first half, Morton Anderson from 60 yards away. That ties the second longest field goal in NFL history. Ties Steve Cox when he was with Cleveland. Of course, Tom Dempsey when he was with the Saints holds the record of 63. At the Saints 38 yard line. And Dempsey will try the longest kick he's ever attempted. Two seconds left. Here's the snap. The ball is down. Dempsey kicks. It's on the way. It is. This is 60 yards. Zerline. Will it make it? It oh. does. He did exactly what he did in pregame warm-ups. He hit from 60 and comes out here in game time and puts it through. Three seconds to go now, and I think Denver with Ola, Ola Kimron will try a long field goal. That's great for Ola. This, could, this is great for Ola. Real quick. Ozzie Finishar. Any way to compare him? Ozzie Newsom? Yes. I, I think very similar in, in style. This is going to be a 65-yard attempt from Ola Cameron. It's got the leg, and it is good! <laughs> 65 yards. If this were a regular season game, that would be the all-time record in NFL history. Ola Cameron... <laughs> Now on his way to the locker room to quickly edit the film and send it to every <laughs> NFL team. That is phenomenal. Tonight, Mike lets him try one. That is phenomenal. This will be a 60-yard field goal attempt. He has a career high of 54. On its way. How about that one? Two seconds remaining, and you see Carpenter launch the longest field goal in the history of the Miami Dolphins. And keep in mind that we are at sea level. We are not in Denver. That is a heck of a job of powering the football over the crossbar by Carpenter. And look at that. Watch it come in, and that... That clears the cross by by no more than a foot. But for the popular Cleveland coach, there was one happy historical footnote in his final game at the helm. It came in the waning seconds of the first half when Steve Cox booted a 60-yard field goal, the second longest in NFL history. Elam is going to try this, and it will be a 60 Let's call it 63 three yard attempt. Spotted at the Bronco 47 yard line. Snap a little high. Elam's kick. Oh. It's a line drive. It's got enough distance. It is good! 
<laughs> 63 yards! <laughs> Holy mackerel! See, Rocco teammates are mobbing Jason Elam. Oh, my! And this is going to be a 63-yard field goal attempt, which would match the longest in NFL history. Sebastian Janikowski from 63. Kicks on the way. It is good! He got it! Wow! NFL history tied here in Denver. Only two others have hit one from that far. Tom Dempsey, Jason Elam, and add Sebastian Janikowski to a very short list on a very long kick. For this, nine game-winning field goals in regulation of overtime, and he boots it on its way. Got it! Absolutely fantastic kick. They get a good push inside. He drives it right over the center bar that could not have been better and that would have been good for an nfl record had he had to back up three yards and he knew it right away 61 yards and i'll tell you the nfl changed rules a few years ago those balls that he's kicking they're hard as rock that is a sensational fantastic kick i can't say enough about it in a spot like that to have a head coach put you in there and have faith to do it that's why this club wins overtime games crater from 60 yards he has hit from 64 in his career his kick on the way he's got a lot of leg in this one and it is good from 60. Yeah, it's upon a 60-yard field goal attempt. Are they putting me on the spot healthy. right now? I'm going to say yes. Yes. I'm going to say yes. There you go, kiddo. Oh, you're Christian Doubting Poirier. Thomas. Doubting Thomas. You are right. <laughs> Waiting for the snap. Long count. It snap. Balls down. Kicks up. It's no good. He missed it short. This is 61 yards, the longest kick Tucker's ever attempted in the NFL. On the way, drifting right, and it is good! It is good! From 61, unbelievable! <laughs> How good is that? Wow! But Akers has got a... He's got a big leg. We'll see what can happen here. He's kicking from the San Francisco side of midfield. Drills it. And it's off the crossbar and through. 63 yards from David Akers. And he gets lifted up as if he just won the game as this thing hit the crossbar. Bounced up in the air and went through the uprights to make it a nine-point game. What's amazing, Joe, is in order to kick it 63 yards, you've got to have a low trajectory on that ball and that it, that it wasn't blocked. That's what usually happens. 60 on its way. And he got it. Steven Hauschka from 60 yards out. 12 seconds on the clock, and Seattle has a one-point lead. Don't laugh. If you're a Brown fan, hold your breath. This guy could do this. Hits the ball hard. It's good. They did it. Janikowski hitting a 61-yard field goal at the end of the first half. Wow, good composure by the Raiders offense.
your defense puts you in a hole. Do what you need to do. Set up the strongest leg in the NFL. 61 and a half, it wouldn't have been good. It was just barely over the bar. Watch this drop over the upright. Right over the top. Bang. 